Hi, I'm Mark and I'm all about psychology, tech and productivity. And in today's video, it's Tesla day. We're gonna go and collect our brand new Tesla. I've got to get on a train for the first time in like forever. Um, and I'm gonna be heading over to Manchester, to the Trafford Center to uh, collect our new car. So excited. A lot's happened since we last spoke about Teslas. So I'll fill you in on the way, okay? Okay, so here at um, Manchester, Victoria, next stop is a tram. I'm planning to walk over to the gardens, hop on a tram, and that should take me uh, straight to the Trafford Centre, which is where the car is waiting. Let's go. And one of the key things that's happened since I last posted a video about Tesla is that Tesla stopped their referral scheme. So all of those YouTubers who keep going on about clicking in the link for a free supercharger miles, that's gone, which I think kind of sucks, but I think it'll be back. And I think it'll be back in a kind of rejuvenated way, in an evolved way. There are lots of examples of people who've just been kind of gaming the system and you know, that's no fun for anybody with people who are racking up hundreds of thousands of miles that they'll never ever use. So I think we'll see this back in a different way that is a bit fairer and rewards both the buyer and the person who's referring. What do you think? Pop a comment below. Do you think they'll be bringing that back or is it gone for good? Another thing that's happened, which is thanks to the guys over on a forum that I found for Tesla owners, I found a much better deal for trading in my existing car, way better than Tesla were offering. So uh, massive thanks to the posters over there who got me a much better deal on my car. So I'm not doing a trade in today. It's just straight picking up the car. And then here's the other thing that's happened. I was expecting to take delivery of my car back in August. That came and went. I was then told early September, that came and went and then I kept calling and they were telling me, oh, it's to do with the chip shortages and it's to do with Tesla not supplying enough of the particular model that I'd ordered, the blue long range uh, all wheel drive model. Um, it was a bit weird that. And then eventually I was told it's not going to be September, it's going to be November, maybe December. And that was going to be a, a bit of a problem for me because it would leave me without a car um, with a young family and that's just not, <laughs> not very easy to get by with. So to avoid me having to wait until November, December, very nice chap at Tesla's sales and collection team, Alistair, shout out to Alistair, um, managed to assign me a cancelled order, which came over with the September delivery, which is a black long range Model 3. It's not the blue one that I ordered, but don't really care. It means I've got to wait a couple more months and it means that I'm not gonna be left without a car. And yeah, no trading. So I've got the classic, you know, checklist of things to go through, but I've heard that the made in China models that are coming across are much more robust and much higher quality in terms of the finish. So hopefully we shouldn't be here for much longer before I can drive off in the new car. Right, let's go and find where the delivery point is. Let's go. So as it turns out, the exit I'm looking for isn't the Debenhams exit like was in the uh, emails. It's actually the Selfridges exit, which is by the bus station. So anyone who's coming to pick up from uh, Manchester, look out for Selfridges, not Debenhams and you should be in the right place. So I've just come out the uh, bus station entrance from the Trafford Centre and look at this, here we go. Lots and lots and lots of lovely Teslas. Lots of Model 3s here. All kind of unassigned with no registration plates. So one of these will be ours. Interestingly, I can see some blue ones here. So clearly some people got in front of the queue, <laughs> even though I ordered back in June and I'd be picking up those ones today, but that's fine, that's okay, no problem. Right, let's go and see if we can find this car.
So that was my collection experience. It was super quick, super easy. Um, the, there was a lot of people waiting to collect cars today, so they were clearly getting through quite a few of them. And um, yeah, they were really, really cool. Um, they just let me explore the car by myself. I, they were there if they needed to ask any questions. But really, like most new Tesla owners, probably have watched like hundreds of hours of YouTube videos on this stuff. And I do remember from the test drive, more or less, what to do um, in driving this car. Now, a big issue that I found as soon as I got in the car was that it only had 20% battery on it which was about 45 miles um, that wasn't enough to get me where I need to go today to get back home so I've actually started my first charging experience so um, just across from the Trafford Centre luckily there is a little charging station it's like a seven kilowatt job so not particularly um, fast but actually I've only been here maybe 30 minutes or so and I've got enough charge to crack on with my journey now and it's also free so um yeah it's been an interesting experience so far I've, I've inspected the car I've used all the usual lists and things that are available I've found no issues with the paintwork the glass um the gaps the interior is looking absolutely immaculate and uh, yeah just really looking forward to getting on the road and giving it a little run back to York so I'm actually going to be heading back to York via Leeds so that means I'm actually going to be heading back uh, with oh 14 percent now I have no idea whether that's um, in any way good bad I obviously don't want it to get near sort of near five percent or anything like that but I think there's a really fast charger at Leeds IKEA so I'm gonna go and head for that and hopefully I can top up loads there while I'm um, shopping and get back in the car with enough to get me back to York I'll keep you posted <laughs> So I had to cut that video a little bit short because user error kicked in. It turns out I had forgotten to tell the car to stop charging and unlock the charging port. So I was really wrestling and trying to struggle to get that charging port to unlock. Um, and I thought the actual charger itself had broken. I actually called the company um, who were very confused as to why I couldn't get the cable out of my car. Anyway, that's all learning. I've uh, now had that experience I'm doing my second charge right now this is a much faster charger over here at Leeds it's doing like um, 30 40 kilowatts which is yeah definitely <laughs> maybe five times faster than the one that I was using before so I'm gonna leave here with a pretty decent charge and um, be able to head home right um, I think that's all for now it's been a really exciting interesting day the whole experience has been overwhelmingly positive apart from the lack of a charge when I picked up yeah I will be posting many more videos I've got one coming out very shortly about some accessories that I have bought for this vehicle already I'll be fitting them later on I do hope you enjoyed this video and please if you do drop us a like if you're feeling even more generous maybe even a cheeky subscribe that would really make my day if you have any questions at all about my experience or anything that's happened over the course of my collection of my Model 3 drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer each and every one I'll see you next time.